What's going on, people? Long time no post. So, you know, I've been really busy. Summer halls, got four kids taking care of everything. But anyway, the whole point of this video is I'm going to share with you three easy ways to pass DP900. You know, it's, I've, I've passed the exam. I can't remember my score. It, and it's my first like data um, exam that I've ever taken. And, you know, I found three easy ways to pass the exam. I'm going to share it with you. So, but before I continue, I'm going to basically say about what DP900 is. So I'm sure you can see my screen here. And you can say, you know, DP900 is about the fundamentals of Azure data, but it goes, it goes a little bit more than that. So it's the DP900 helps you understand how to leverage Azure's data um, resources, past solutions in, in, in its offerings. And if you're on premises and you want to do a migration, how best can you can actually do that? If you want to harvest in, information for, let's say, I don't know, big data, or if you want to use like machine learning or anything like that, this exam does touch on that. Not in depth, but it gives you the ability to learn or know or have some sort of idea of what you can actually use in Azure for you to fulfill those those means for your your companies. So anyway, how do we pass the exam? First, really easy. You just punch in DP nine hundred within any any browser you should be able to browse to Microsoft um, documentation. And as you can see here on my screen, you can schedule the exam. The exam is 99 US dollars. I think if you're in the UK, I can scroll here and it's 69. Is it worth the money? Yes, because if you challenge yourself to obtain this information and I challenge you to do this exam, you will gain the information that will help not only yourself in a better career, but it helps your company. It helps the whole world all around. You'd be surprised. So anyway, the, the study material that you're being used is from the free Microsoft um, online tutorials. So I've signed in as myself and you can see that you, I've completed um, all of these modules here. And it probably took me like a month, but this is your first step. You wanna come here and basically do the online free, free training. Now, some of the modules do get you to do things hands-on. And, you know, it's really good that it actually encourages you to try to see and probe and understand the portal and where things are. There's are some um, um, C-sharp things as well as that. It lets you, you know, in, interface with the CLI. It, it's worth doing, just do this, okay? Once you've obtained that information or while you're obtaining that information, you're saying to yourself, okay, I wanna do some practice tests. I strongly suggest Wiz Labs. This is your second way of passing the DP900. So after, while you're doing your study and then everything is sort, get yourself a Wiz Labs subscription. I'm not sponsored by Wiz Labs, but I do re recommend them. And what you're doing, going to do with Wiz Labs is for the practice tests. Now, I strongly stress to anyone, if you're going to do the exam, don't think that the questions or the practice questions from Wiz Labs is gonna help you pass because they're like for like they're not. And I don't encourage anyone to do brain dumps. Reason being is because when you actually study to just pass the exam, you just do that and your certificate is useless. Your certificate is just a piece of paper that says, congratulations, you passed an exam. But you didn't challenge yourself. You didn't actually say, let me sit down and actually, you know, retain this information so that I can actually progress my career. The whole point of Wiz Labs is to give you some means of actually, you know, trying to get into your, your mind of thinking about how to do the exam questions, what the exam questions would be like. Now, I haven't, Wiz Labs has changed its, its interface. It looks really sharp, actually. This is my first time looking at it for a very long time. Um, I've signed in underneath my own account. Let's give it a try and see if my account's still active. I'm sure it is. And yeah, it's kept my history and everything. So let's just resume the quiz and see what we can do. So yeah, I'm ready to start. 
And okay, so this question one says, describe a core data concept, common tasks and responsibilities of a data analysis, find the hidden patterns using data, focus only on available data, restrict access to data. Uh, I don't think that arise at conclusions one step of analysis. Hidden patterns in data should, is it A? It is A. Finding, so, you know, so the good thing about WizLabs is that it does ask you relevant questions. It's just not asking you questions to say, well, here's some practice tests. It does ask you some thought probing questions. And the good thing about it is, is that the explanations is really good as to why one is correct and the other ones are incorrect. But let's say, for example, you want to continue that material further or you disagree with WizLabs and say, I think you're full of it. Show me some proof. It They only point to Microsoft um, to the Microsoft uh, white papers so that it can actually say, you know, is it legit or not? And here you go. It, it basically tells you where that, that information is coming from. So it's really good. It does back up, does actually say, you know, where the info is. And I strongly suggest, so that's the second way of passing the exam. The third way is to just do the work. You've got the training material from Microsoft free. You've got Wiz Labs. It's going to cost you 99 US dollars for a subscription for, I think, a year worth it. And you get to also, not only do you get the practice test questions, you also have the online courses as well, part of that subscription. You know, why, why not just do that? But doing the work is important. And the way how I can actually say is, is that, is to do the work is to set yourself a schedule. Um, you say to yourself, and if you got a partner and you got kids and stuff like that, you just basically say, I need two hours dedicated in the afternoon from six to eight in the afternoon. And then from eight in the afternoon after that, I could do everything else. And once you dedicate that block of time, you'll be able to just quickly go through all the study material and pass the exam. And that's what I've done. So those are my three things, my three basic things, ladies and gentlemen, is find yourself the free training material. I'll put that in the description in this video. That's one, study material. Step two, get yourself a Wiz Labs practice exam and just go through the material in the mindset to learn not to memorize and three just simply just do the work dedicate two hours a day for seven days a week for at least a month and a half and you should have more than enough time to pass the exam and that's it good luck you know i really challenge you to do this exam i really hope that you do um, it is the fundamentals, so basically it gives you the ground knowledge of where you want to go and what you want to do and where things to be used. And that's it. See you to the next video. Bye-bye.